So, so far what we are discussing is we learn how to create a simple view uh, on top of one of the uh, table VBAP and we learned about how to define a key in the database in the CTS view and so how to bring some fields from the table. Okay, we call it as a simple, uh, you know, the CTS view uh, based upon the table. Now, the next topic what we are going to discuss is this ABAP CDS scopes for annotations. Okay, what it means in CDS views, we will provide different kind of annotations, view annotations, extension annotations, function annotations, parameter and element annotations. Okay, so the place where we are writing these annotations, you know, makes the difference here. Okay, for example, if we see our CDS view, we are writing before the define view statement, we written some of the annotations. All, all these comes with, you know, starting with that, right? Uh, we call them as annotations. Okay, so these annotations are nothing but view annotations. Okay, what is view annotations? Specifies in the definition of a view of the above series before the start statement at define view. Okay, so if any annotation is uh, defined before this define view statement, then we call them as a uh, view annotation. Okay, and the remaining annotations we will, uh, you know, discuss in upcoming sessions. But at this point of time, uh, we know we will uh, understand about the view annotation. So the next topic here, what we discuss is general DDL syntax rules. It means when you're creating a CDS view, what are the, uh, some of the basic rules that you keep in mind? Okay, what are those? The first one is keywords. What is keyword? For example, if you see the CDS view, here select is a keyword. Okay, um, so uh, what it is saying, keywords must be written all uppercase or all lowercase. It means it can be complete lowercase or uppercase are capitalized. For example, keyword, keyword and keyword. These three are allowed. All uh, are all valid notations for the same keyword. But uh, you see the first letter is a small letter and in the middle if you are starting with capital letter, then these are not acceptable. Okay. If we want to see it practically, here select statement is there. In the select statement, I am writing a st small starting letter, capital letter. And uh, do I have any issue here in the definition? Yes, you see, there is no error in my CDS view. Okay, but suddenly if I write this uh, in between E character as a capital letter, then it is an unexpected uh, keyword select. Then system not able to recognize what is this uh, particular word is. Okay, so either it can be all small letters or all capital letters or starting with capital and followed by small letters. These are the three different combinations system will allow. But if you mix up the combination, system doesn't recognize the keywords. So the second one is uh, comments. Okay. So then uh, what is comments means? For example, um, when someone, people who are looking into CDS use, if they don't know about what exactly is VBLN, here we can write comments by keeping two backslashes and write a document number. Okay, it's a comment it means information about the column. What call? What kind of column it is? Uh, if you want to write some elaboration words, uh, you can write it. So this is called uh, in one liner. Okay, next to the uh, field element, uh, you are writing the comment. We can write the comments in some different way also. For example, here you are writing a business logic by writing A into B into C something formula you are writing. So for that formula, you want to write some comment. So in such case, what we can do, uh, we can write uh, some like this by uh, keeping uh, this kind of notation, you know, backslash star and star backslash in between you can write, okay. Uh, this is the uh, comment for multiple lines. Okay, it means the starting of this uh, backslash star and uh, again star backslash in between whatever you written, all these falls under comment only. This is not executable line of code. Okay, if you want to line write comment in a single line next to the data element element key element here, then you can use this uh, backward backward slashes. Or if you want to write uh, comment in multiple lines, then you have to use this one. Sometimes what will happen, we want to comment some part of our CDS view. In such cases also, for example, I don't want this uh, data, you know, this column from here to here. Okay. In such cases, generally what we do is we will comment in this way. It means instead of deleting my, you know, code which I written, simply I am commenting my code. 
so that in later point if i want to refer or if you know or if i want to remove re revert back i can do it this simply hmm? so this is a one kind of a comment we use in cdsu two different ways are there coming to the next one literals only single quotes are allowed for string literals numbers cannot be abbreviated we can see it uh, in later point also point 0.5 is a system doesn't tell you only we need to write 0 0.5 simple if you write point 0.5 system cannot understand what exactly it is okay and if you use the uh, cdsu here yes the, uh, literals means nothing but the ones which we written in single quotes all comes under literals 